Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In my previous video, I have discussed how to draw the molecular orbital die. And we have discussed several molecules. And here in this video, I am going to discuss how to draw the molecular orbital diagram for nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine molecules and their molecular ions. In this video, we are also going to see the how to write the molecular orbital electronic configuration their bond order, relative bond length, relative bond strength, as well as their magnetic character. I will also give you an amazing trick in this video so that you can easily memorize how to write all such things without drawing the molecular orbital diagram. So that will be really helpful for the class 11th and class 12th students. So let's start. First, I will draw the nitrogen and nitrogen plus molecular orbital diagrams and then I will give you the trick so that you can easily understand. So here we are drawing the molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule. So what are the important steps which we are going to follow to draw the molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule? First of all, you have to write down the electronic configuration for nitrogen as you want to draw the molecular orbital diagram for this. And what is this? This is a homonuclear diatomic molecule. It means two nitrogen atoms, these are same, homo means same. Two nitrogen atoms combine together to form a nitrogen molecule. So one side you have to draw the electronic configuration in increasing order of energy and the right hand side you will draw the electronic configuration in increasing order for another nitrogen atom. So here what you are going to see 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3. This is for one nitrogen and this is for another nitrogen, right? So no need to confuse, this is one nitrogen, this is second nitrogen and here is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, increasing order of energy in which these are written over here. Similarly, you draw the same exercise for another nitrogen atom on the right hand side. Now, you just simply count how many electrons are there. There are, we are having 2, 2 and 6. So total 7 electrons are there for 1 nitrogen. Similarly, the other nitrogen is also having 7 electrons. So total we are having 14 electrons. So that you will not never make a mistake related to the electron counting. So in this way, you can write down the number of electrons, how many electrons you need to fill in the molecular orbital line. Now we are having the number of atomic orbitals combined together, they form same number of molecular orbitals. So 1s combines with 1s, so two atomic orbitals are combined together, they will form two molecular orbitals. One is bonding which is of low energy, one is anti-bonding which is of higher energy with respect to the combining atomic orbitals, right? So this, all such facts I have already discussed in my previous videos. So I am just summarizing all those facts here again. This is for 2s, 2s. So we are having again 2 sigma and sigma star molecular orbitals. Here we are having 3 and 3, 6 atomic orbitals and they will form 6 molecular orbitals. Here are the pi orbitals, sigma, pi and sigma, right? Now we are going to fill the number of electrons which we have already count as 14 electrons in the molecular orbital. So these are the which are drawn in between atomic orbitals. These are our molecular orbitals. And while we are filling the electrons, we need to follow our Bose principle, Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity and Pauli's exclusion principle. Right? All these rules we need to follow while we are filling the molecular orbital similarly as we follow in case of molecular orbitals, right? So here I am going to fill electrons. So electron number 1, first go to this molecular orbital and electron number 2, electron 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 9. Here it is important, 9 will go to this side, left hand, pi orbital and your 10 will go to here. This is important, right? Next is 
11 will go with 9 and then 12 will go with 10. So this is important. Sometimes a student may made mistake like this. So they can initially fill 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is incorrect actually. That is why I have numbered the electrons. Electron number 9, 10, 11 and then 12. Then 13 and 14. Right. So this is the actual way of filling the electrons. Now this is increasing order of energy. And we are filling the electrons. So they are following the Pauli's exclusion principle here. So both the electrons are in opposite spins. So here you can see. Now we are filling the electrons. And now we are going to write the electronic configuration. So writing the electronic configuration by overlapping of S and N, we are having sigma, sigma star, sigma, sigma star, pi, pi and then sigma, right? So here in that way, I have written sigma 1s because it is formed by the overlapping of 1s orbitals, then it is having two electrons, sigma 1s. It is anti-bonding. That is why we are placed here star. It is having two electrons. Similarly, sigma 2s, two electrons, sigma 2s and two electrons and it is anti-bonding. That is why here we are putting star. Now we are here pi which is formed by the combination of two p y and it is having two electrons. This is here it is important we are placing the equal sign rather than putting the sigma because it is of equal energy or we can say these are degenerated. Degenerated means these two are having same energy. And here 2Py which is having again two electrons then comma and here sigma 2Px and it is again having two electrons. So this is how we are going to write the electronic configuration. Now calculation of bond order. So how we are going to calculate the bond order? So 1 by 2 number of electrons present in the bonding molecular orbitals and minus number of electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbitals. So you can check by these circles here. So these blue circles represents the bonding molecular orbitals and number of electrons we are going to calculate. So we are having 10 electrons in bonding molecular orbitals and 4 electrons in the antibonding molecular orbital. So I have put the values and now I am going to calculate it. So the bond order is 3. And what does this bond order mean? It means nitrogen in nitrogen molecule exists as N triple bond N. So this is the bond order, right? So this is what we have done here. Next is N2 plus. So what does this plus mean? So initially, what steps you need to follow? You just simply write down the electronic configuration. So as I told you earlier in my previous slide, nitrogen one side and nitrogen on another side. So we need to make nitrogen plus. So how this forms? So this forms by the combination of nitrogen and nitrogen plus. You simply write down the electronic configuration for the nitrogen here on one side. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Right? And on the right hand side, we are just putting one electron less. Plus means you just remove one electron from this nitrogen. So remove one electron. Remove. Right? that only then it will acquire the positive charge. So we are having initially three electrons here. Now we are having two electrons. So this suggests it is N plus. Fine. Now count the number of electrons from this N2 plus. So we are having five electrons here. In, in the previous case we were having six electrons but here we are having five electrons. So how many electrons are there in total? So 13 electrons. In previous case we are having 14 electrons but here in this case we are having 13 electrons. Now the next point is to fill the electrons. So we will follow the same exercise for filling the electrons and now we are just filling the electrons here. 
so you can see this right so this is how we are filling the electron in our previous case we are having this type of situation all the this sigma star is completely filled so the, in that case it was diamagnetic but here since it is having one unpaired electron therefore it is paramagnetic one unpaired electron but nitrogen here we can say nitrogen is diamagnetic and nitrogen plus is para magnetic so that is the difference now we are going to write down the electronic configuration so that will do the same way so here what i have written sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 and here we are having pi 2py and pi 2pz these two are having two electrons and here again sigma 2px it is having one electron right so this is how you can write down the electronic configuration next is calculation of bond order so what, to calculate the bond order what you need to do you need to calculate the number of electrons present in the bonding molecular orbital so these are the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital so nine electrons are there and in the anti-bonding molecular orbitals we are having four electrons so nine minus four we are getting 2.5 so this suggests that the nitrogen 2 plus is having 2.5 bond character so this is shown by the dots right two bonds and one bond is by dots so this is the difference between nitrogen and nitrogen plus 